I swear to God, if John doesn't stop controlling everything, I'm going to quit. I mean, there's literally no point in me working my butt off if John is just going to make all my decisions for me. Right? Like, I'm so overstressed. John is just so... I don't even know a good word to describe her. Oh, I can think of plenty of words. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, if Joan is going to run this place, she needs to get to know us better. Because honestly, I don't have the motivation anymore. Why would I want to put in all this effort for a boss that doesn't ever recognize me for my hard work? I mean, last week, I made that huge deal with the Houston client. But did Joan have anything to say about it? Of course not. Wow. She didn't even say nice job. Good work? Something? How does she expect us to strive for, su for success when she doesn't even recognize all of our hard work we put in? Yeah, I know. I bet if Joan would have taken the time to get, us know it, get to know us when she first started here, we wouldn't be in this situation. She should have just went out for drinks with us that night or had a lunch or coffee date. But instead, I feel like I have no relationship with her. And now that she's micromanaging everything in the office, I'm at my breaking point. Yeah, and all right at the worst moment. You know, our deadline is coming up and we've been stuck for days. If we miss it, Joan is going to freak. I honestly don't know if her robotic mind can handle it. But you know what? I don't even care. It's literally come to that point. I think I'm going to go for a walk outside. Just get some fresh air. I want to call my boyfriend and tell him everything. He's a good listener. I'm with you. I'm definitely not looking forward to getting back to work myself. I think I'm going to extend my lunch for a little while I'm at it, too. I'm sure we'll figure this out before I did deadline. No need to panic, I guess.